It is the after show with Monique Samuels and Bowen Yang. Bowen's uh, stars on SNL Saturday nights on NBC. Our virtual audience has questions. Let's field a couple now. Nelson, you're up. Hey, Monique. You look amazing. Um, Thank you. When was the last time that you saw Streets in person? And what and where are you with her now in terms of your relationship with her? The last time I saw I saw Sharice in person, I believe, was at Nene Leakes, uh, her opening at the MGM at the National Harbor. And when I see her, I just pay her dust. I will pose for a picture, but I'm not having any conversation. I'm barely looking at her. I will walk past her when we're done. Like, I have nothing to say to her. All right. Uh, Alyssa has a question for Bowen. Hi, Bowen. My question is, do you ever talk Bravo with 80? Oh, yeah. I talk Bravo with 80 all the time. Although 80 is more literate, I would say. But, um, oh, yeah, we're constantly talking about Bravo stuff. Um, I think she's, like, pretty closely following Potomac along with the rest of us. So, yeah, it's fun. She's the best. Bowen, um, Teller O wants to know what your auditions were like for SNL. Ooh, um, I just threw everything against the wall. Um, I, cause, cause I just kept going back in, but, um, I was like, I don't think it might, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm just going to have fun with it. So I did like, uh, Michiko Kakutani and I did, um, like David Chang. I did all these impressions that like I had no business doing, but I still had fun doing them. Um, and then just, I did the soul cycle character. I did, um, the guy from the choking poster. I've done, I've done like a lot of stuff that I've somehow made it, that I've somehow brought onto the show. So I, I got pretty lucky that I just pulled from my auditions since. Um, what is it like for, I mean, you're breaking ground on SNL after all these years, uh, openly gay, Asian. Are, are you the first Asian cast member of SNL? No, I think, um, I think that goes to Rob Schneider. Um, and then you had Fred Armisen and then Nazim Pedrad. Um, but I think, yeah. I think if it, if it matters, like first fully East Asian, um, but, uh, and then third openly gay man, just for, for anyone who's like keeping, keeping, keeping score. score. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really special. It's really nice. I, I feel very, um, very honored. Yeah. Um, Monique, last question. Drew A texted, do you think T'Challa went for Wendy at the lake house because she was the most nervous and he could smell fear? <laughs> T'Challa was not trying to attack Wendy. He was trying to just land on her. She looked very comforting to him. I left the room at that moment. T'Challa was a baby, so he was looking for me. He probably was nervous and he probably thought that she was the most comfortable to land on. But it does look scary when he's flying at you. <laughs> Okay, before I wrap it up, Bowen, anything else you need to get off your chest about Potomac or, or anything in the Bravo universe? I just want to say that Potomac is my favorite franchise because I love all seven of these women so, so much, and I want the best for them. Um, and I just I just want um, people to sort of apply some radical empathy or restorative whatever, justice, anything. I mean, I just want to make sure everyone's taken care of. So um, I love you, Monique. I love everybody. It's my favorite show. It's my favorite city. All right. We're going to leave it there. I want to thank Monique and Bowen. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody.